welcome to Edgewater, New Jersey, a place that's a little noisy this time of year. It's the sound of wild Quaker parrots, a flock of birds originally from Argentina who have been here in Jersey for nearly five decades. The largest population being right here in this Bergen County town. It's really a unique experience to be able to come to a park like this when there's, you know, a, a very urban, busy area like this. Allison Evans Fragel is a protector of these birds. She's made it her mission to not only feed the birds, but to get them removed from New Jersey's list of potentially dangerous species. Uh, I actually maintain a list of every pole that has a nest on it and every pole number. And um, I have a list of people who are always watching out for the birds. The state's Division of Fish and Wildlife says the birds can become an agricultural pest and a threat to other wildlife, but Allison says that's just not true. They've been here over 45 years and we know that they live perfectly happily among other bird species. As a result of being on that list, humane treatment of removing the birds from nests isn't always necessary. The most recent instance of that was seen in June when PSENG, the energy company, removed birds from a nest in Englewood. PSENG says the nests were affecting power in that area, but six birds died as a result and Allison says that never should have happened. It would help the utility company to get them off of that list because then people like myself who build alternative nesting platforms and uh, work with wildlife and exotic animals would be able to do things to help them. A bill is now in the legislature to remove the birds from the state's list of potentially dangerous species. It's a bill that's been presented before, but Allison's confident will pass this time. But I want to hear from you. Is it time to free the parrots? Tweet me at Diana Blass and the show at Chasing News.